Did you know that depression can be self-inflicted? Let's talk about that. What's good? My name is Jadaris or Jay, and I'm here to make your life better today. In today's video, I want to cover depression again. I believe that a lot of people don't know that depression can be self-inflicted. And I know this is true because I've done it before to myself. You see, depression can be self-inflicted because a lot of times people focus on what they don't have in life. A lot of times people focus on the fact that they're not who they want to be in life. Then they begin to overthink and have all these negative thoughts. We often think that depression occurs in our life because uncontrollable events happen when that's not always true. Depression can be self-inflicted by, by having a negative way of looking at life. Depression can be self-inflicted by looking at life in a negative perspective. Because it can be self-inflicted, you can overcome it. Listen, we are in charge of our emotions and how we look at life. If we want to control them, if we don't want to self-inflict depression on ourselves, then we have to change our focus in life. We have to look at life from a different perspective so we won't self-inflict depression on ourselves. One thing you can do to overcome that self-inflicted depression is by reading, watching, and listening to things that will motivate you. You got to take care of your mind. That's the, that's the most important thing you have to do in order to get rid of that depression. In school, I was taught that the mind was a terrible thing to waste, but it's also an important thing that you gotta take care of. The reason why it's so easy for a lot of people to fall in depression is because they don't take care of their minds. They're not doing anything to strengthen it. They are not doing anything to study how to overcome those down moments that we all have in life. Your mind is your greatest asset, and if you're not taking care of your mind by strengthening it with positive messages, then it's going to be easy for you to fall into depression. Another way to overcome that self-inflicted depression is by surrounding yourself with people who deserve to be in your life. When I was in high school in my senior year, one thing that I did is that I stopped talking to everyone. I stopped talking to everyone because I needed to realize who I needed to keep in my life and who I needed to kick out my life. It is so important for you to detoxify your relationships because some of those people in your life are draining you. Some of those people in your life are leeches and they are causing you to feel bad in life. You need to get rid of those people now. Another way to overcome that self-inflicted depression is by listening to music that will help change your state of mind. I noticed that when a lot of people get depressed, they listen to a lot of sad, slow music that, that depicts the way they're feeling. I don't know about you, but that increases depression for me. Tony Robbins said that emotion is created by motion. And you need to listen to music that will put you in emotion to change your emotions. That means that you need to listen to music that's gonna make you feel good. You need to listen to music that makes you wanna dance. You need to listen to music that's gonna give you hope that there's more to life than just this moment. Think about your body posture when you're depressed. You're usually down, your face is like this. You don't wanna do nothing productive. That's why you gotta listen to music that's gonna put you in emotion to change your emotions. You gotta listen to music that's gonna make you feel good. Now there are different types of depression and they come in various ways, but this is one that is very common. And I believe that this is one that a lot of people suffer from. But if you're willing to put in the work, you can overcome it. If you find value in this video, please subscribe, like, Comment down below if you're gonna get rid of your self-inflicted depression. Share this video, share my channel, and turn those notifications on so I can continue to provide you with mental wisdom, motivation, and some entertainment. Peace.